On Friday, May 14th, the 1 and 3 Hiller Girls Across team took on Norwood. The Hillers rallied in the first quarter. Akilas rushes in, shot, and it's in. 1 0 Hillers. Picked up by Dacey. Leads it over to Catherine Dacey. You got Emma and Catherine Dacey both out there. Here comes the Hillers once again. Rushing in, shot, and it's in. Jamie Arena makes it two to nothing. York working her way up towards the doorstep. There's a shot, and it's in. Three nothing Hillers. Behind the net over to Worrell. Worrell sneaks it over to McCullough, shot, in. What a great setup by Worrell there, and a good score by Tiffany McCullough, her second goal of the day. Hopkinton scores six goals in the first quarter. They would take the win over Norwood 16-3 and improved a 2-3 on the season. On Monday, May 17th, Hiller Boys Lacrosse took on Holliston. The Hillers took the match 11 to 8 and improved to 1 and 3 on the season. Also on Monday, May 17th, Hillers softball took on Dover Sherborne. It was a scoreless game heading to the bottom of the first. And this is going to be up the left side. The throw home is going to get away from the catcher and the run will score. Way in on the corners and this pitch gets away from the catcher. The throw home, not in time. And another Hillers run scores. So Jurasek comes around on the wild pitch. Bragdon deals and this is hit high in the air towards Left field, and that drops, and the runner from third is going to score. Hillers played five runs in the inning. They ended up taking the game in a five-inning mercy, 12 to nothing to improve to 5-0 and oh on the season. Also May 17th, Hiller baseball took on Dover Sherborne. The Blue Raiders led 2-1, to one, heading to the bottom of the sixth. Hillers played seven runs in the bottom of the sixth and took the game 8-2. Hopkinton improves to 4-1 and one on the season. On Tuesday, May 18th, Hiller baseball battled Ashland, trailing 1-0. Hiller's rally in the bottom of the first. When everybody... There's a base hit right up the middle. Pahara going to score easily. And Kelly is in there for an RBI single. Nice. There's a base hit in the center field. In comes Kelly. Pahara to third. No, locked to third. He stops. Puts the brakes on. Nice job by Matt Cooper. First and third. Ball in the dirt, pass ball. Here comes Locke, slides in safely. Here's a ground ball through the hole in between third and short. Here comes Jarrett to the plate, cut off. Nothing doing, throw down to second base. Andrew Gunn is safe. There's a ground ball beaten down the third baseline, picked up by the third baseman. And he has to eat it. Andrew Gunn scores. A 6-3, Hiller's lead heading into the bottom of the second. Connor Kelly steps to the plate. Before getting hooked by Coach Simos. There's a fly ball deep. That's going back to the fence. And it's gone. Connor Kelly. It's a bomb to right field. Little repeat of last night's action. Good power, as we like to say here in this area. A solo shot. 
The home run makes it a 7-3 game. Hillers never look back. They took the win in a five-inning mercy, 13-3. Also on Tuesday, Hillers softball took on Ashland. Hillers trailed 3-1 heading into the bottom of the second inning, but the bats got going. Line up in the pitch. Gets a piece of this one, and that'll drop into left field. Here comes one run in to score. It's a three to two game, and Harrigan going to advance to second. Line up in the pitch. And she rips this one into center field. That gets down, and we are knotted up at three apiece, and now DeSimone will advance to second. And she gets a good piece of this one. That'll drop into center field. And here comes one run to score, another runner right behind her, and here comes yet a third run, and that is a three RBI double by Katherine Morse. She clears the bases. Five runs score in the bottom of the second to make it a six to three game. Hillers add four more runs in the third. Set the deal. And this is hit in the air over to right field. That'll get down. Alex Young going to be waved around third. Here she comes to score. And now McCluskey continuing to third, and it's an RBI triple. Fouled away, and it got away from the catcher. And here comes a run to score, and the throw's off the mark. And this is hit in the air over to right center. That'll drop down for a hit. A run in to score. Here comes Kester over to second base. She's going to keep going to third. The throw, not in time. An RBI triple for Kester. And this is hit in the air to the wall. And that'll drop in front of the wall. Another run around to score. Morris heading to second, an RBI double. A 10-3 game, Hillers would add eight more runs in the fourth inning and end up taking the five-inning mercy win 18-3 over Ashland. Hillers improved to 6-0 on the season.